Hey you guys, it's Danny. Today we are going to be doing a walkthrough of this super fun tarot deck called Black Cat Tarot Deck. This is by Helena de Almeida and it is absolutely adorable. So I was contacted by the lovely Helena and she sent me a copy of this Black Cat Tarot Deck and I am so excited to be able to work with this deck it is absolutely adorable like if i had to pick one cat deck this this would be it but you guys know i'm a sucker for like very simple palettes and we're looking at black and white and gold so i mean i'm in right so it comes in this really nice tuck box it has this little cutout so it's really easy to slide on and off we have a little blurb on the back and then we open up inside, just a plain black here. And then we have the cards. These are so cute. Oh, I can't stand it. So these are larger than standard tarot. You can see here that they are a little taller and quite a bit wider. They're kind of like a good oracle size. Let me see if I have an oracle around me. I do, I have soul cards here. So if you guys have soul cards, it's about a standard oracle. So it's really close to that. It's really close to like a standard oracle. But they're really nice and sturdy. We'll give that a shuffle in a bit. But there are some really sturdy cards, but enough to have a good bend. So I feel like they're easy to work with. So there's the back. You can see we have like a little gold edge and the cat, so it's non-reversible. But then on the front, we have this like gold foiling, which is so cute. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so let's flip through. I love this death card. All the little skeletons. And by the way, we do have symbols for the major and all the minors. They do have unique symbols. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that. So here we have the ace. And I'm just noticing, if I'm not mistaken, these are going to be our four suits that are all around. I'm like just noticing that now. There's our fire. Fun! Wands. So here we have our cups. And I love how on like happy scenes, you see the little music notes. We have our Ace of Swords, our little swords up here. Pentacles. Oh 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't lie. I love how we have all of our characters kind of reappearing throughout the deck. So you'll notice there are, they the kings are all sitting on the same throne, number one. But then we have our little owl and these little birds, as well as, let me see if I can find them. Our little owl there. One of the birds here. Our little houses. Especially in these. Like, right here, our little rabbit kind of repeats itself. This, like, smiling sun. I really love how it's almost like a story. And we see the same characters kind of repeated in here. So, I thought it was really fun because it's very RWS. But at the same time, it kind of goes its own way. So I really, really love that about this deck. So let's go ahead and shuffle. It shuffles so well. And like I said, it's got enough of a bend to it that even though it is a larger deck, it's still very easy to shuffle. It does really well. Overhand. Ooh. We almost had a flyer there. <laughs> it does really well this way. Let's try it this way. And we have no edging or gilding, just regular edges, which I totally don't mind. Although I'm like, ooh, should I do it in black? Mm, that would be pretty. Okay, so let's check out. Oh, we literally have the fool. Okay, so the fool jumped out. So let's go ahead and check out the guidebook so we have a digital guidebook as you can see i was flipping through it already and we have the contents um, a little bit about how to work with the cards where they came from it talks about our symbols how to work with the cards we have a celtic cross and then we get into the card so i'm glad we have a major we'll go ahead and pull a minor after too so let's read what it says about the fool. So we have strengths, pure, open mind, auto-motivated, honest, and optimist. Opportunities, new beginnings, new relationships, falling, following in love, new adventures, and life surprises. The weaknesses are impulsive and irresponsible. Threats are possible accidents and disappointments. And then in this little box down here, ooh, can you see that in this little box down here it says yes a little adventure and madness can be healthy but don't let that be the basis of your important decisions in your life as you will easily be disappointed and frustrating and i'm sorry will easily be disappointed and frustration can take care of you so we have this for the majors let's go ahead and find a minor oh good next one up three of swords so let's read how the minors are done Let's not get dizzy. I'll pull back for a second. <laughs> okay, so three of swords. You can see we have a little picture again. Kind of blow that up. You see we have our little picture again. And it's set up the same exact way. We have strengths, opportunities, weaknesses, threat, and then a little meaning in the box here. So our strengths for the three of swords is emotional. Opportunities, beware of your emotional state and feelings to properly handle any situation. Weaknesses is self-victimization. Threat, live and feel unreal fears. So in the box it says, it is necessary to clear your mind. Walk in nature where you can hear the noise of animals, the leaves of trees. And when you stop, gradually start to understand and accept what you feel. So we have a great little guidebook and it's easy to access. You get a um, code to put in so you can download when you get it. So you guys, this has been such a fun little deck. I've been using it for the past week or so. While I went on vacation, I brought this with me and I did a few readings and I had an absolute blast playing with these little characters and using this deck. Like I said, this simple palette is just a favorite aesthetic of mine. I love simplicity when it comes to to decks sometimes and this is my favorite kind 
And it, while I'm usually not one for an animal deck, I just love how much it mimics the RWS. And it's just a fun little thing. I just love the little black cats. I love the characters that it brings. It's very whimsical. And I felt like I could really kind of tap in to my inner child and just have so much fun with this deck. So you guys, if you are interested in getting your own copy, I do have links um, at the bottom in the description, along with my normal links that you can find um, my Etsy shop, Three Fat Readers, How to Book a Reading, my Instagrams, all the good things. Those are all gonna be down below. And so let me know what you guys think about this little deck, and I will talk to you all very soon. I'm sending you all my love. Mwah! Later, Gators. <laughs>